this dump again. Yeah, I really need to stop going to those late night parties. <laughs> hey, hang on a second. Didn't I go to sleep wearing a spacesuit? What the? Where did my spacesuit go? Robbed! I've been robbed. Oh wait, no. Hang on a second. Silly me. It's a new patch. That's what's happened. Right, it's been a while since I've made one of these, so uh, welcome back to Port Olisar. And uh, I'm currently testing out Star Citizen Alpha patch 2.4. Now, this is currently still in testing phase, it hasn't been released to the live servers as yet. I managed to um, get myself invited to uh, the test group, so. I'm one of a handful of people that's busy trying this out at the moment. Um, what I'm also doing now is running the game in uh, offline mode using a little hack that a few clever folks on the internet devised because the live server is a little bit wonky at the moment and um, it's running more like a slideshow than a game so I thought if I was going to show this to you properly I needed to make a plan to at least increase the performance a bit hence uh, the offline hack. So, what was I carrying on about about the civilian clothes? Let me quickly switch to my outside view here, and there we are. I am now dressed in civvies. Hey, handsome guy. So yes, um, the first iteration of civilian clothing is in the game. Everyone's not running around in armored spacesuits anymore, which makes for well a welcome change. Um, the other reason why this is a big deal is because shopping has arrived and uh, we'll be visiting a couple of shops in this bit to have a look at it what it is that you can actually buy. Together with that I'll quickly bring up my Moby glass here. Oh, there we are. Right, so you'll remember the Moby class from some of the previous vids where I can do my mission checking and whatever. The new feature is over here on the right hand side. It's called Alpha UEC, of which I now have 2750. I have no idea whether that's a lot. I suspect it might not be. Point is, um, we finally have something approaching a working shall we say economy, it's not really an economy as such but uh, we now have alpha credits that we can use to buy stuff um, and you can earn these by performing missions I'll hopefully get around to showing you how to do that uh, in a future vid so because I'm running in offline mode I won't actually be able to spend or earn any credits but uh, there we are, so now there's alpha currency that you can use to test stuff with, so that's pretty nifty. So with that uh, in mind, let's run down and have a look at what's been happening around Port Olisar. So, hmm, this is new. There's a construction area, what does it say here? Opening soon. No idea what it is that's opening soon. In the meantime, they're just making the place look untidy. This lighting effect is very cool though. I just love how the light sort of streams through this grill over there and how it plays around. Look at my shadow over there. Ah, that looks fantastic. So yeah, reminds me of a certain creepy looking abandoned space station I visited recently. Anywho, pop down the stairs quickly, see if there's anything else brewing around this old space station. There's the ship deck which you're familiar with where you can order uh, your ships for flight. Ah, this bit down here is new as well. Dark little corridor. It uh, well, doesn't seem to be worth exploring. More construction crap lying around. Ah, geez, look at that. Guy actually took a nap down here. Would you believe it? These construction workers. Oi, barbarians, the lot of them. Right, um, 
So where are these shops that everyone's going on about? Here's the airlock for going outside. What is also new, and uh, I'll show you this in another vid too when we get to run outside, is since I'm dressed in civvies, I can't go out the airlock anymore without putting on a spacesuit, and that's what this airlock goes for. So let's maybe show you what that works like quickly. For interest sake, I'm going to get a bit closer. Here's my use prompt. So. Whoop! And now I'm dressed in my spacesuit and I can run around outside. But uh, we will not be going outside just now, so I quickly want to put my civvies back on again. There we are. That's me. And. Uh, Let's see what's over here that's new. So this is ah Garrity Defense. First one to here we have uh, live fire weapons. That's another shop that's now open on Port Alisar. Um, I nearly fell off my chair laughing when I saw this one the first time. I will visit the weapon shop a little bit later on, I think. Uh, what I'm looking for now. And I have to admit, I'm not actually sure where they put it. Is the clothing store. Where's Kasawa? Um, I actually think it might be... On the, there we go, it's on the other side of the ship, Nick. Right. Okay. Friendly shop attendant. You have an itch, dude. Huh. He looks very bored. Not helpful at all. So I think I'll just run around and uh, help myself. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, all sorts of swanky looking stuff. So we have. Uh, these are pants. So this is pretty nifty. You get uh, if you inspect an item, your augmented reality overlay will give you a summary of the item. Flaunt your rugged yet refined sensibility with these cargo pants with grey accents and contrast stripes down each side. As these are durable, comfortable, and always on point. I'm sure I don't know what that means. Guri. Style with these bowl pens from City Light, six zipper pockets and a slanted fly will bring a bit of attitude. Slanted fly? Are you serious? I'm not buying those. Okay, but now you can see some of the thought that's gone into making this because you've got uh, different clothing manufacturers and different styles, so you can now, of course, customize your character however you choose. So. Uh, and not buy anything right now. There's the price in UEC, so I should be able to try it on though. There we are. Hmm. Nifty. I think this goes quite well with my jacket. Let's try the brown pants. Ho oh ho! Even better. It's a good fit, I think. Alright, so so much for the pants. Uh, yeah, we've got jacket. Join the club, we got jackets. Uh, Selby. Mm, 1950. Clothing stores are as expensive in the future as they are today. Go figure. Try this one on. Oh, that does look good though. And maybe this uh, Rhodes blue looking one over here. Very nice. Right, well, I think you get the basic idea. So here's uh, t-shirts, a whole selection of them. There's caps over here. See if you can find something that looks interesting. How about a swanky red one? Rabat. Baseball cap with an accent stripe to add a pop of color. Oh, here we are. Looking around, looking around. As you can see, I've got no fashion sense whatsoever. Hey. 
Right, so that is clothing shopping. Um, oh, what I forgot to mention was what's also coming in this patch is the big one, um, persistence. What does that mean? It means the game will now remember um, certain parameters or settings um, during of uh, in between play sessions. So if I buy something from the store, uh, it actually goes into an inventory, and the next time I load the game, it remembers how many credits I had, uh, what items are in my inventory, things like that. So um, it sounds like a very basic thing, but it's a huge step for the game in the back end side that now remembers your account information between play sessions so that's another step towards a fully persistent universe right so let's pop back to the weapon and armor stores I think so that was there we go guarantee defense I think these guys sell suits of armor they do indeed very nice alright so hello Mr. Garrity Defense look you look just as unhelpful as your compatriot over at Kasaba but uh, they do have some cool looking merchandise so this is a flight suit like the one that I was wearing earlier uh, that I got from the locker to go outside with uh, Odyssey flight suit this looks nice Try this one on, shall we? Ooh, swanky. I can't actually move around while I'm wearing this. I can just turn around to look at myself. Very stylish. Hmm. Alright, what's next? Another Odyssey flight suit. This is. Oh, no, here's the armor stuff. So don't try and do EVA in these things because uh, this is not actually a flight suit for flying around with. This is. Combat armor. Oh, 9,500 UEC. Goodness gracious. Future's not cheap. It's a little bit dark in here, unfortunately. Can somebody turn a light on? Am I supposed to see what my character looks like? Oh, medium armor. This looks like it has a bit of camo. Nifty. And then of course the uh, Achilles heavy armor. Hmm. Designed to endure where others fail. Oh, that remains to be seen. It does look like it could uh, take a bit of a beating though. So uh, yes, I can actually do missions, earn credits and buy some of this stuff. Although this still being alpha, chances are that uh, the credits and any items I buy will be wiped in between patches because they're just busy testing the system out so you're not really earning anything permanent but uh, it's testing so here we go this is uh, this is the outlaw armor so we have the outlaw light armor over here what do they call this spotter here we have the uh, medium armor what's this one called brawler medium armor and then over here the slugger heavy armor let's just try this one on for fun there we go oh badass I'm an outlaw be afraid be very afraid <laughs> all right <laughs> shoplifters will be executed to the fullest extent of the law of course they will if I get in that suit of armor, what are you going to do to me, huh, huh, huh? You don't have any guns in the store. Maybe he's hiding a piece under the counter or something. Speaking of which, um, let me pop across to the store next door. Live fire weapons. Mm. What merchandise have you got in here, my good man? What's to prevent me from holding you up with one of your own weapons? Ha! Huh. Right, we have energy pistols, ballistic pistols. Uh, this is pretty nifty. Let me. Oh, I've actually got one of these. That's why it says equipped. So let's inspect the ballistic pistol, shall we? Very nice. Let's have a good look at this. 
interesting. Put that one back. Here's some ammunition. And then over here we have all manner of interesting hardware. Before our ballistic rifle, devastated energy shotgun. This is new. Ooh. Semi automatic electric shotgun capable of delivering sustained medium range high impact plasma blasts for close combat room clearances and other combat operations. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Looks like I could do some serious damage with this thing. Sure, my uh, trusty wingman Dolph Bean can't wait to get his hands on one of these. Junior, if you're watching this video, this is for you. Some swanky new toys to play with. ATT4 energy rifle. I have to say, I love the weapon design. They look uh, suitably dangerous and futuristic. Ooh, this one even has a laser sight. Very, very nice. Okay, let's put that one back, and then of course the obligatory sniper rifle, arrowhead energy rifle. Hmm. Fantastic. Okay, place those. Try a rifle, pistol, pistol. or shotgun. Maybe next time. You. Uh, a bit overpriced. I don't think I can afford the stuff in your store, quite frankly. Here's uh, ooh, some med pens uh, for giving yourself a little shot in the arm. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for this store. So, back outside again. Alright, um, have a quick peek outside at. Ah, Planet Crusader, as you can see has moved closer again in this patch and uh, it is now and this looks absolutely flippin awesome it is actually rotating have a look at those clouds you'll see that they're moving very very slowly I'm not sure whether it's the planet that's rotating around its axis or whether it's the station that's orbiting the planet but either way it's not stationary anymore so um, it looks brilliant alright so um, that's it for the updates to Port Olisar. Uh, shopping is now in the game. There's some interesting items that you can buy with uh, alpha credits. And uh, in the next vid, I think I'll be showing you some of the uh, mission gameplay uh, that you can now use to actually earn credits and uh, test out some of the merchandise in the shops. So. Uh, See you next time.